Proven innocent of. Then again, it's for again. We're also talking. I'm not talking about relitigating whether or not Nick Parker was uh, is was guilty or was convicted under the law. I'm talking about litigating this issue, taking this as an opportunity because, frankly, uh, sexual assault it, it is a part of Black history. It truly is. What the fuck did she just say? UB News. Let me be very clear before I get into this topic. There is no hate between my point of view and black women. I am simply pointing out the fact that the media uses black women as propaganda arms for the white supremacist agenda. So many cases of divide and conquer that are perpetuated by the media that I'm not even gonna bring up everything that we could possibly talk about because we would be here talking forever. Specifically, what I want to talk about is the movie Birth of a Nation, Nate Parker, and the story of Nat Turner. At a time when we should be celebrating the fact that a black revolutionary movie is actually in the mainstream movie theater, the conversation has derailed itself into a topic about rape and sexual consent. We're talking about the person who created the movie was accused of rape 17 years ago. He was acquitted. Now, since then, the accuser committed suicide. So now that Nate has gone on his promotional tour to put butts in the seats of the movie theater, He's had to answer questions about a rape charge that happened 17 years ago that he was acquitted from. So when we have these conversations and we use divide and conquer tactics to drive a wedge between black men and black women, the way you do that is to paint a perspective from your agenda. So instead of talking about black revolutionary history, we're discussing the sexual history of the person who made the movie. An idea so minuscule to compare that to the black revolutionary film that's basically going to set the precedent for new media across the board. The main reason that they don't want us to talk about this is because they don't want us to talk about it. They would rather us bring up the personal history of the man who's responsible for the movie. Well, if we bring up that personal history, he was accused of rape and acquitted. So when the media wants to use divide and conquer tactics, They use black women to drive this wedge between the ideals of them and the ideals of black men. Because we want to vilify this brother. But the facts say he was wrongly accused. So we need black women to go out there and articulate our perspective. This isn't about Nat Turner. This is about Nate Parker, the rapist. I'm sorry, he was acquitted from that. But we're going to keep talking about it because that's what they use black women in the media for. To draw a divide between the ideals of black women and black men. They have to promote discord between the sexes in order for their agenda to be carried out with the most effectiveness. Because when black men and black women are on the same page, when we both support each other, none of those bullshit, treacherous devil tactics will work.
he was accused of rape. Right. Found not guilty. Right. Largely no, 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 no. I, 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 okay. I have to explain that. I, 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 okay, allow me to finish. Okay. Yeah, allow me, allow to, me to finish. Yes. <laughs> he was, it was a rape allegation. He says it was consensual. She said it was not consensual. The jury made their decision. In the various reports, folks have said that it was because they had a prior relationship or a prior sexual uh, 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 sexual relationship that that was the reason why. And those are the facts. So that's why. Again, though. No. So it, because if we may, if we are saying that was a rape, but the jury said not guilty, that's factually incorrect for us to do that. So. Yep. How are we? How are we also then allowing the same justice system that we indict over and over and over again for acquitting officers, for acquitting Darren Wilson, for right. acquitting George Zimmerman, to then be the arbiter of whether or and not that, this is okay. an issue that needs to be? In that one. What in the unholy calcified fuck is this coronated Afro wearing chick talking about? Did she just say because killer cops get away with murder? In a system that is rigged and designed in their favor. Because killer cops get away with murder. In a dirty system. Nate Parker's innocence. Is therefore invalid. Even though we know the system. Is stacked against him. But because dirty cops walk free. And Nate Parker walk free. He must be as guilty as them. And look at the other sister. Cosign. Yeah girl that shit sounds stupid as fuck. He'll never be able to make sense out of this. That's that shit I don't like. Women have been a victim of sexual assault at some point in her life. As a black community, we have to deal with that. Gabrielle, you have to deal with it. I want to say it again. Just pushing that under the rug and telling black women that you have to somehow push down the fact that you're a woman to prove that you are good enough to be considered black. Now, here, here's the what the fuck did she just say? She had to push down the fact that she was a woman to prove that she was good enough to be considered black? What in the holy Sarah Palin is she talking about? Oh my god. And then look at this nigga. He's falling asleep. Look at him. His eyes are closed. What the fuck are you talking about right now? And she's so passionate. Sit down, please. Somebody come get her. Somebody come get her talk about rape, ra the rape culture in our country, and particularly in the black community. We should have real discussions with our sons about consent and what that does and doesn't mean. And when well, or even Nate Parker himself yes. needs to invest, needs to invest in, in the community Absolutely. around educating people around sexual assault and do that as a separate and ongoing event that occurs across the country in addition to promoting oh, yeah. like them. Listen, Stacy, could you go up there and could you say something just about, you know, black on black crime or, you know, basically there's there's a lot of they're, they're talking junk about it, Stacy, and I don't like it. Could you run up there and do something, David Clark? Could you run up there and say something about black on black crime or I just need you to talk some shit about them niggers. Because they're talking all that stuff out there on that social media and Facebook and I can't do nothing about it. And here comes Charles Barkley with a show called The Race Car. Here comes Bow Wow with whoever the fuck gives a fuck about whatever Bow Wow said. He still had to say some stupid shit. Bow Wow actually could have been more relevant if he would have said something that had any level of consciousness to it. But nah, he went the other route. Because his career is fading and he needs something to fall back on when all those team bopper bitches grew up and they realized that he's old school Ray Shermer here comes Stacy Dash Sheriff Sambo the black pepper supremacist The media loves to use these divide and conquer tactics. But see now, they get a little bit deeper than these divide and conquer tactics. They it, it, they use 
what we would consider socially aware black women to divide the wedge between women and men under the guise of this fabricated black feminism. Now, before I go any deeper, it is important to understand there is a reason why there are no strong black male personalities on television right now. No outspoken, strong black personalities. Name one. I'll wait. Who? Name one. Nothing. But see, there could be strong black women on television. And this this is no shot against black women. This is just what it is. Because these quote unquote strong black women who are on television are used as tools for the arm of white supremacy. If your butthole quivers when I say the word white supremacy, you're probably a racist. So they use these strong black women under the guise of this quote unquote liberal agenda. And if you believe that the right or the left side isn't fucking you, you're a dumbass, okay? They're both fucking you. Republicans are just in your face about it. They let you know that they don't give a fuck about you, though. Democrats are a little more conniving in their treacherous ways. So they use these black women as proxy arms for either their liberal supremacist agenda or their conservative supremacist agenda, AKA Stacey Dash. All the way to Melissa Harris Perry. And a lot of people are thinking, this is just a black man hating on black women. No. Please have your thing. But if you understand how the media works, who's with me now? Do you understand how the media works? Are you familiar with Operation Mockingbird? Rule number one of the media, it is owned by the Central Intelligence Agency. It is a propaganda arm for the elite, quote unquote the elite, the one percenters, the people who have the money and influence to control the media to get people to do what they want them to do through subversive advertising and programming. Is that a lie? Of course it isn't. If you think that's a lie, you need to do some research. Media propaganda one-on-one Operation Mockingbird. Everything is used as a divide and conquer tactic. It's the art of misdirection. We all looking at each other. You got the people who want to support the police, undercover racists, versus the people who know justice exists. It's about something deeper. So when they use these women as arms for white supremacy, they're used to devalidate the movement. To devalidate the progression of black people in the eyes of other black people. The media is the cross upon black men, especially, are crucified within the country. So we know that Nate Parker was acquitted for rape, but he is treated as a rapist. These are facts. Furthermore, Instead of using this as a discussion about Nat Turner, a story which many 
people do not have any clue about let's be honest black people don't know our history and that Turner wasn't even that long ago we can't even tell you the story anymore because they've made it about something else well the director writer of this movie is a racist Nigga, you mean rapist. not a racist oh my god a rapist Nate Parker is a rapist he was acquitted in the justice system that <laughs> convicts black men at a three times higher rate than white men you mean to tell me that he actually beat the case and you can still call him a rapist when the witnesses who testified against them years ago were nowhere to be found and the people who spoke on his behalf are still there supporting him interesting tidbit the woman who accused him or, or uh, supposedly accused him she ended up committing suicide So it's not even about him anymore. It's about this rape culture that the media wants you to believe is essentially a black problem. Because they want they, they want you to believe that Nate Parker should be the poster child of someone who gets off for rape. I'm sorry. Does the name Brock Turner ring a bell? But please black women who are hired by media big wigs who have an agenda. Tell me how and why Nate Parker should be the poster child for something that he was actually acquitted from as opposed to someone who was actually found guilty. Don't worry, I'll wait. All day, all day.